What's up guys? This is me here and today this video is going to be pretty long because I'm going to be doing my top 20 least my top 20 worst pay-per-views of all time of WWE that is. Okay. So number 20 be prepared for it. Survivor Series 2003. I mean, seriously. I hated this pay-per-view. This saw... The Kane vs. Shane McMahon match was pretty good. As well as the Team Angle vs. Team Lesnar match. That was the only match... That was the only non-singles match I liked on that, in that, in this whole entire thing. Molly Holly vs. Rita, terrible match. Kane vs. Shane McMahon was a good match, like I said. It was an awesome match. The Basham Brothers match was terrible. The one that made me angled was Team Bissoff vs. Team Austin. How in the world... Would Batista, why in the world would Batista cost Stone Cold the opportunity to attack people again? This is ridiculous. That, that sucked. I got even more angled here. Mr. McMahon versus The Undertaker. That match was overweighted, and the Buried Alive match, that was the first, that was the Buried Alive match. The Undertaker got buried, and he got buried twice. First one was. This was pay per view, and then the second was during, was Friday Night 2010, which I was sure will be on my list as well. Overall, the Goldberg vs. Triple H match was pretty good. I actually enjoyed it. And the Brock vs. Goldberg segment, that was the first time Lesnar and Goldberg have ever face to face, have a talk met face to face. So, yeah, Survivor Series 2003 sucked big time. So let's see. My the next pay per view I did not like. Royal Rumble 2002. That's number 19. Royal Rumble 2002. This pay per view really, really, really sucked. The only good thing was the the only match I liked in this pay per view was the Royal Rumble match and the Street Fight match with Team Rick and Mr. McMahon. I'll tell you, if Mr. McMahon won that match, I would have been mad. If Mr. McMahon defeated Ric Flair, I would not like that match. But since Ric Flair won, I like the match. The other match, the, the other only good match was the Royal Rumble match. Where Triple H just won that Royal Rumble match, his first Royal Rumble match. I would make Kurt Angle. Those, those were the only two matches that I liked. The West sucked. Spike Dudley and Taz versus the Dudley Boys? That was on That was unacceptable. The Spike Dudley and Taz versus the Dudley Boys. That match sucked. Same thing with William Regal versus Edge. That match sucked. William Regal should have not won the Intercontinental title in that match. Because he did not... I didn't think he deserved it at, at, at that time. Chris Jericho vs. The Rock was also a terrible match. And even the, the one that made me mad the most was the women's match. Trish Stratus vs. Jazz. This is Luke Harper, guys. Trish Stratus Trish, Trish vs. Jazz. Jazz. That match? Boo! I hated it. That was the worst match there was. There is. So yeah, Royal Rumble 2002 sucked. Number 18, get ready for it. Over the Women 2011. You wanna know why this pay-per-view sucked? Well, there were a lot of bad matches. R2 vs. Wayne Mysterio for one. That match, 
that match literally angered me. How Rey Mysterio was one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. I'll admit that. He's one of the greatest high flyer wrestlers of all time. R-Truth wants to pick on Rey Mysterio, even though I now like R-Truth. I do like R-Truth. Don't get me wrong. I do like R-Truth now. But the match with him and Rey Mysterio was terrible. I did not like R-Truth at that time. Another match that was terrible was, was the Intercontinental title match. Ezekiel Jackson versus Ray Barrett. I don't even know what to say, but that match was the worst match I can experience on this tape on in this pay per view over the winter 2011. Next match, the next match, the next match that sucked was the Divas Championship match. Brie Bella took on Kelly Kelly, and it was just a boy match. It was just a boy match. And the Kiss My Foot match. Jerry Wall versus Michael Cole. Oh, that was terrible. If, if Michael Cole did defeat Jerry Wall at this event, then Wall would have to surrender his WWE Hall of Fame win to him and personally induct him into the Hall of Fame in WWE. This match was also another reason this match. Jerry Wall lost. This match would have been the worst match I've ever saw in my life. Luckily, Jerry Wall won, so this isn't the worst match. There's more worst matches out there. This is in the top 10 worst matches of all time list, though. And, um, and this was also a three-minute match. I don't understand. I don't get it. This was only a three-minute match. Number 17. The only matches I liked on that pay-per-view was Randy Orton versus Christian and, and the I Quit match. The West was terrible. Next up on my list, Armageddon 2005. First of all, I did not like that, that, this pay-per-view at all. I did not like this pay-per-view at all. There were a lot of bad matches. A lot of bad matches, I'll tell you. ABL versus Matt Hardy, terrible. Packing match wasn't that bad. Chris Milan versus Booker T, awful. Just awful. Bobby Lashley versus Paul Bocher and William Regal. I don't even know why that was considered in a, in a, a match on the pay per view. The Cruiserweight Championship match, for worse. Big Sun Kane. Versus Batista and Wayne Mysterio, that match was not good. The Undertaker versus Randy Orton, not bad. The only matches I did like was the Eminem match, was the tag team match between Eminem and uh, and Price Closest and Super Crazy, and the Undertaker versus Randy Orton, the Hell in a Cell match. Those matches were the only matches I liked in this in this pay per view. The West sucked. Number sixteen. This will never get put. This will never get put on my list. This pay per view, I hated the most. Unforgiven, two thousand four. This pay per view, oh my god! This pay per view was awful. The Christian Ryan William Regal vs. Evolution, not bad. But the women's championship match that blew it. That blew this match, this this pay per view to be one of the worst. That match was awful. Justin Tomko versus Stephen Richards was also not a good match. Joker versus Christian. That was my. That was that was the best match on that on this pay per view. The ladder match for the vacant Intercontinental Championship. That match was awesome. Okay, Kid versus Kane. Not good at all. 
that match was terrible. That no disqualification match was brutal. It was just, I like that match. Yeah, all of your matches sucked. The the Christian Lion William Regal match, the, the ladder match, and the no disqualification match were the only matches I liked on this on that in that pay per view. The other matches sucked. <laughs> okay, number fifteen. This pay per view blew everything. Payback 2014. Oh boy, do we have a lot of things to talk about this pay per view. First off, Seamus vs. Cesaro are now a tag team, and they are the worst tag team. I hated that match, Seamus vs. Cesaro. I didn't think that match deserved it. United States Championship match, that match was terrible when Seamus was U.S. champion. He was good as U.S. champion, but after that, Every title he's won, he's been a heel. Although he was a tweener when he won the tag team championship match at Warbuck, which is not going to be on my list. In 2016, that is. Curtis Axel and Wyback versus Cody Rhodes and Goldust. Not that bad. Rusev versus Big E. Big E. Hold up. I'm doing Not right now. Huh? Okay. The Rusev vs. Big E match was not good. Bo Dallas vs. Kofi Kane did that match didn't even start it. Because Kane came out and interfered. This match was the worst because of Kane. In the championship match, not that bad. John Cena vs. Bray Wyatt, awesome. Page versus Lisa Fox, not that bad. Not that good, actually. Not that good. And the and Mysterio versus Evolution. That match was awesome. I'll make that. That match, no holds ball and Mason match. That's why I should call a match. I got interrupted doing this, but doing this one when I was announcing this. Number 14. That's on be on my list. SummerSlam 2004. This match, I only had one match that I liked in this pay-per-view. Ugly Boys, that was not the match. The, the Santiago match was not the match. Total Depth to, to Us Part match. Kane versus Bad Hardy. Oh my god, this shouldn't even been a match. That match was awesome. United States Championship match, not that great. In the Connell title match, not good at all. Kurt Angle versus Eddie Guerrero was the only match I liked in this pay per view. Triple H versus Eugene shouldn't have even been a match on a pay per view. I don't know why that was a match on a pay per view. ABL versus Undertaker, terrible. Randy Orton versus Chris Benoit, not that good. So, yeah. Randy Orton even won the world title that pay per view. Made him the youngest champ world champion in history. I'll give credit to that, but. Number 13. Oh, this one really blew it. WrestleMania 34. Oh, man, I actually watched this live on the WWE Network. This pay per view turned out, turned out mediocre, but then went bad after the. After the John Cena, after the, the SmackDown Women's Championship match, John Cena was in the was was in was in the was was, in, was a fan for the first two matches. Luckily, came out after the second match, after the SmackDown Women's Championship match, and told John Cena someone was here. This to have someone was someone arrived, and that will turn out where it will turn out to be beyond Taker. That match. But that match, the Undertaker versus John Cena, that could have been a little longer. To be honest, that could have been a little longer. And that only happened at WrestleMania. Not at WrestleMania, but 
It was just a terrible match. It was just not a good match. It was supposed to be wrong. I'll talk about pre show matches for this one. The Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal, that match. I sort of think Masawa Ali sort of won the cruise. Well, actually, I will. I don't. I didn't mind the cruiserweight champions match. But Mas I, I do like Masawa Ali now. I didn't like him at that pay per view though. I didn't really like him at that pay per view though. But now I like him. Cedric Alexander winning the cruiserweight championship was cool. Was great. Was a great way. Was a way to start it. What a way to have his win could have been the longest if he didn't lose it to Buddy Murphy at Super Showdown. Um, Jim Mahal versus Randy Orton, then Bobby Roode and Rusev. Not good match. U.S. Championship match, bad. Mixed tag team match, I give credit to that. Ronda Rousey made her debut. I now hate Ronda Rousey, though, because Ronda Rousey turned heel on, on March 4th, 2019. That, that, on that episode of War. That episode of War. The SmackDown Tag Team Championship match was the worst match, in my opinion. The Bojan Brothers didn't even deserve, they didn't even deserve a title match. And what happens? They would win the titles at that event. So, I did not like the Bojan Brothers. And right now, Rowan's with Daniel Bryan. How, and he helped Daniel Bryan Retain his WWE Championship one time against AJ Styles at the World Wumble. This past this year's World Wumble. That World Wumble is definitely on my list. Untaking vs. John Cena, like I said, not that good. Daniel Bryan vs. and Sam McMahon vs. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. That match was awful. I didn't like the fact that it was Daniel Bryan's first match back in, after a three year hiatus. But that match was just terrible. Including the part where Owens and Zane would attack Daniel Bryan in only his return match. That was terrible. In his first match in over three years. That in almost three years. That match was terrible. For those reasons. The Raw Women's Championship match, boo! I did not like that match. I hated the fact that Nia Jax won the Raw Women's Championship. I never liked her. Even if she was a fan favorite, I never liked her. The WWE Championship match, not that bad. You know, except for the fact Sensei Nakamura turned heel in this, at the, after the match by attacking AJ Styles. But the match itself was not that bad. Oh, this match was really a soccer. The tag team match, for the World Tag Team Championship, that uh, title match has to be one of the most epic matches I saw in this tape on the, in, at a WrestleMania. Braun Strowman went to the went to the went into the crowd and chose a random fan fan, which was revealed to be Nicholas, and they even won the World Tag Team Titles. However, they relinquished it the day after. But, yeah, that match I found to be entertaining because of that. I found Braun Strowman to be entertaining until he turned heel in August, but then turned face again. Oh, and Black Wrestling vs. Roman Reigns at this event, it sucked. It was awesome at SummerSlam 2018, which will not be on my list. That pay per view was all, wouldn't be on my best top 20 best pay per views ever. So yeah, this was a warm one, but Westman played four, not that good. Number twelve. Oh boy, this pay per view definitely blew it. Way back 2015. This pay per view. Oh, then oh boy, don't we have a lot of stuff to talk about? First off, the pre show matches were just was just awful. It was just awful. They were only nine minutes and forty seconds for each for, for matches. 
That was terrible. That should have been one of the matches should have been longer than six minutes and fifty seconds. Same as both same same as versus Dolph Ziggler. Not good. Tag team championship match. Terrible. Bray Wyatt versus Ryback was like one of the only good matches on this. The I quit match between on this in this event. The I quit match between John Cena and Rusev. I did not find entertaining. The other tag team match. Same thing. Not find it entertaining. Never versus King Bow was not a bad. The Fatal Boy match was awful. Randy Orton. Of a Randy Orton got another championship match in this pay per view after Extreme Rules about 15. Randy Orton already had a title match at Extreme Rules 2015 before that went during the time of this pay per view. And Seth Rollins had to have been the world's champion, WWE champion of all time at that time. While Brock Lesnar was actually the worst. This match was terrible. All right, you might be expecting this one, but number 11, Bragging Rights 2010. Oh boy, don't we have a lot of stuff to talk about. Oh boy, we have a lot of stuff to talk about. And a blind versus Dolph Ziggler at that. The Nexus, the Nexus versus Curry Rose and Drew McIntyre, awful. Teddy Biasi versus Goldust, awful. And this would be Teddy Biasi Jr. Wayla versus Natalia, bad. Kane versus Young Taker was the worst match I actually what I actually saw in that match. In this event. Worst match. They buried that 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 marked the Undertaker's second time being buried after um Survivor Series 2003, which was my first one I which was my number twentieth least favorite. This is number eleven. The Team SmackDown versus Team War match, best match on the paper. You know, Ray Bell versus Randy Orton, it sucked. At Baron Ross, Cena would have been fired. Barrett won, but by disqualification. Barrett did not win the title at this paper. You know. Oh boy, this is definitely in my top 10 now. This definitely, this, this definitely sucked. This definitely was the worst I can experience. Summer Swam 1991 is number 10 on my list. You may be wondering what is all this? Well, this pay per view this pay per view blew everything away onto the ground. The matches that stuck in this pay per view six man tag team match, in the title title, tag team match, singles match for a million dollar championship. The jailhouse match was the worst I can experience. We played for the WWE Tag Team, cha WWE tag team Championship match. Terrible. WWE World Tag Team Championship match, I should say, was terrible. Singles match between, which, which, which involved Greg Valentine, sucked. That sucked. And the handicap match was awful. This whole pay per view was awful. This whole pay per view sucked. I did not like this pay-per-view at all. The mountain got arrested at this event. It really sucked. Number nine. You might be expecting this. You will be expecting this one on my list. You have no doubt this pay-per-view was end up being the worst. I can never experience it. No Way Out 2004. 
OMG, this pay per view sucked. I got this pay per view on DVD and it sucked. The WWE Tag Team title match, awful choice. The only matches I liked were the number one contenders match and the WWE Championship match. Also, Goldberg came out. This was the worst part of No Way Out 2004. Goldberg came out with Came, came into it, and Brock Lesnar came out for a promo. Goldberg came out, and he was arrested for that. He got arrested for a cut for for I believe. Let me see. Let me see you closer. Um, oh no, Goldberg was not arrested. He was escorted out of the arena by security. So that was the worst thing I can experience in that pay-per-view. Number eight. TLC 2009. Oh boy, this pay-per-view definitely sucked. ECW title match, not good. Title match, bad. Women's championship match, bad. The WWE championship match, Terrible. World Heavyweight Championship match. Awful. Batista almost won the title. He could have won the title, but 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 Teddy Teddy Wong came out and reversed the decision. And we started the match I met. And the Undertaker retained. Orton versus Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston has a Opportunity to to make it to West May and challenge Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship if he wins the gauntlet match, but I doubt he will. I doubt he will. And a DX match versus Joe So match, Cliff, Big So and Chris Jericho. That match, not that bad. But all the other matches sucked. Sucked. Number seven. This pay-per-view will definitely not get off my list. Oh, one one. This is this is 2009. Judgment Day 2006. Oh, this was terrible. This was just terrible. The tag team tournament was just awful. Chris Benoit versus Finley. Bad. The world's match in this video was the Great Kali versus The Undertaker. Great Kali dominated most of the match. That match sucked. That had been one of the world's matches in history. That's all I gotta say for that pay per view. My number six pay per view, number six worst pay per view of all time. You guys might be expecting this one. WrestleMania 30. This pay-per-view absolutely does not get get any credit. Except for the main event, which was Daniel Bryan versus Batista and Randy Orton. Daniel Bryan got added to the match when he defeated Triple H in the beginning of the show. So yeah. So yeah, that match was good. And same with Dana Bryan versus Triple H. John Cena versus Bray Wyatt, I gotta tell you, that match was awful. 
I don't know why he would do that, but that match was terrible. Cesaro winning the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, the first one that is, but I didn't I didn't appreciate that one. <sighs> Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker. Terrible match. Worst match in WrestleMania history. This resulted in The Undertaker streak, undefeated streak, being end, being put to rest when Brock Lesnar defeated The Undertaker. That was a plain out stupid idea. So yeah, that pay-per-view sucked. Number five. Over the Women 2010. This was the first ever Over the Women and it really sucked. All the matches on this pay-per-view suck. That's all I'm saying for this one. Number four. Royal Wumble 2007. Oh my god. This pay-per-view sucked. Hardy Boys tag team match, not bad. All the world title matches were awful. The World War match, not bad either. None of these matches were pretty good. Number three. The Great American Bass 2005. Oh boy, don't we have some stuff to talk about. I did not like the way Mysterio versus Eddie Guerrero match. And I did not like... I, did not, I also did not like... I actually did not like any matches. Of that pay-per-view. That pay-per-view? This pay-per-view? Really sucked. I'll tell you that right now. That pay-per-view? This... That pay-per-view was just awful. Number two. Summer Swam 2014. Oh boy, don't we have a lot of stuff to talk about. <sighs> All of these matches pretty were well, pretty bad. Except for the Wumba Jack match. That match was pretty good. Black Lesnar versus John Cena, awesome. I hated how the fact that Um, Brock Lesnar won the WWE title. So yeah, that pay-per-view turned out to be a disaster. And the worst pay-per-view I can experience, my number one least favorite, December to Dismember. Oh yeah, this match, this pay-per-view. Totally sucked. There was only one single, two singles matches in this pay-per-view. They were mostly tag team. Half of the matches were tag team. This match, these, this, so you can expect to this, do not be in my top 10 ever. Not being my top 10 best DVDs, uh, best pay per views ever. This is, I hope you guys enjoyed. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm tired from all the talking. And yeah, 
This is me signing off.